Hey guys, it's Katie. Um, so I already filmed a video for you guys, um, and I'll post it next week. After that, I don't know how much I'm going to do for videos for a little while. Um, this is why I'm coming out and talking about this. I, a lot has been going on <laughs> in my life. From family troubles to relationship drama, like more drama than anyone knows of, to just mental, like just a bunch of mental stresses going on, and I realize I just missed this whole entire straight piece, and I'm gonna be really mad at myself for that. <laughs> um, but just so much has been going on that I'm going to take a break from social media and stuff for a while. I need, I don't feel like I need to actually, I don't feel like I really need to talk about this. Um, or this really needs to be said, but I kind of need to just in case people don't think I'm just falling off the face of the earth. Um, I need, I don't know. <laughs> so much has been going on in my life for the past two months now, almost three months. Um, and for the most part I could handle it. Um, but then things would get worse and worse, and I couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> and I've had a lot of trouble. I need to... The reason I'm taking a break is I need to get a check for my, my mental health. I need to make sure I'm okay. Because me, personally, I know I can be fine. But I need to... I need to stop seeing, like, him and this new girl on, on Twitter constantly. I need to stop thinking about like everything with my family right now, I need to stop thinking about everything that's been getting me down and I need to work on myself for a little bit. I'm very honest with you guys, actually, because it's e it's easy to talk on like social media and talk like this because I'm just talking to myself and I can be honest with myself. Like anyone can be honest with themselves. Like even if they're lying to themselves, they'll think it's right. I don't know. That was a stretch, but... <laughs> I, it's easier to be honest with yourself than it is with others and this is a great way to be honest with yourself as well as being honest with others and so I'm just being honest about everything and what I used to do with YouTube is make it a place where I can be myself and I can get through all my struggles and I can keep myself you know mentally in check and I can keep all this stuff now I'm not saying I have any problems I don't know I don't um, I just need to make sure that I'm okay so because I've been so honest with you guys, I'm going to be honest about what's been going on lately. Um, you may have noticed some weird stuff with my videos. You may have noticed just anything. Weird posts on Instagram. Just something going on. And I know a lot of people have noticed a lot of stuff going on. And so I'm just going to talk about that while I'm noticing all these straight pieces that are no longer... My hair does not like to curl, so it's, that's fine. Okay, um... So, um, in the summer, we I came home from a date with Jacob, and only to find out that um, my grandpa was in the hospital, and he had he had like a blad he had bladder cancer for a while. Um, they were able to remove the bladder recently, which is good, and he'll just be having a bag with him, you know, <laughs> for a while, and that was a good thing. But for a while, that was a big struggle with my life and my family because it's someone who's super close to me. I'm an only child and I live with my grandparents and my parents and my grandparents were part of the people who raised me. So hearing, like seeing and hearing that one of the people who basically raised me is <laughs> suffering pretty bad, that crushed me for a while. And it was a hard thing for me to go through. And all at the same time, I had lost most of my friends because I got drum major. I had lost so many people in my life. And um, I started to regain some around that time, but it was really hard. Um, and then at the same time, I loved being a drum major. I loved it so much. It was really fun, but the thing about it is it's not physically demanding as it is mentally demanding. And you have to be a certain person to everyone. Everyone wants a certain kind of drum major and a certain kind of leader. So it's really hard to keep yourself like calm, cool, and collected and not talk about any of the problems you're having, not talk about the feelings and focus on other people's problems. That was a really hard thing for me to do. And at the same time, it was just mentally stressing on me because I had so much stuff going on in my own life that 
it was a little hard for me to just push it away all the time. Then later on, later on, you guys know Jacob and I broke up, and that was very hard on me um, because for me it was a complete it was a complete surprise. I didn't expect it. Um, no one really did actually, except for obviously him. Um, no one expected it. Like none of my family expected it. None of my friends expected it. No one expected it. Um, and that was, I don't know, I want to make this raw, so I'm probably not going to edit unless I really need to, unless it gets too long. But I, um, that was really hard for me because then it seemed like after a break, the breakup, things just kept getting worse and he completely changed into a different person than I, what I knew. And seeing that every day just destroyed me. <laughs> Um, just seeing every day how how easily a person can change their life all the way around just completely destroyed me especially for me because I didn't have many people or met much of the time and then I had the one thing I thought was true in my life and all of a sudden it went away and I understand I'm 17 I have my whole the whole rest of my life ahead of me but you gotta understand too he was my first real love and it's hard it's hard to think about like all like the last date we had and all this kinds of stuff without thinking about the pain afterwards. <laughs> so um, that was a lot afterwards, and that was really stressing on me. And for the most part, I was pretty good about trying to hide it from people and not really talk about it. I didn't talk about it with anyone except for one person, other than my family. And for it was a good thing for me to do that, but also a bad thing because. Um, It's like a, it's like the quote I love from The Great Gatsby. If you, um, I love large parties. They're so intimate. At small parties, there isn't any privacy. I was a small party for a while. I was stuck in my own head, and I had to overthink all the time. And I was too afraid to like make him mad. I would never wanted to make him mad because he scared me so much. Um, I never wanted to disappoint him. I never wanted to disappoint anyone. I wanted to do my best in everything. And to a point that started to stretch me really thin to the point where I just lost it and I can't I just need some time off <laughs> I need to get away from a lot of things in the world I need to focus on myself for a little while I need to make sure that you know everything in my I have all my ducks in a row and I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket before I can really start focusing on this and focusing on like Instagram or anything I need to focus on me so I have a video already pre-recorded like I said and I can post that next week if I wanted to and if I feel better soon I'll probably start filming um, but for right now I need to I feel like I shouldn't have to do this I'm not like one like a million fall a million subscriber youtuber but I have a good following and people have been concerned about me lately they have been noticing that things have been off and it's because my yin and my yang are really off right now and I don't and I need to get my life in balance before I start worrying about like the rest of the world I need to make sure everything is okay in my life and get everything checked up just in case of anything I need to make sure I'm okay before I ever before I start worrying about the rest of the world so I'm, I'm going to do that and um, I hope you guys are still with me. I hope you guys are with me here. Um, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do and I will see you guys later. Bye.